Okay. Uh, I just cleaned everything up uh, and because I want to get that sugar out of these things and make sure that we were clean for this time. I used soap and water, dried them all off. Now I've got a 250 to 300 milliliter beaker right here and I'm going to get my caffeine and uh, I'm going to put in 0 0.2 uh, grams. So let me put my scale on and this time I'm actually going to put my beaker on. I'm going to hit the terror button and now I'm going to put in my caffeine and when I put in my caffeine I just want it to go to 0 0.2 which is a tiny amount. So let's see if I can do it. More than that, apparently. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it didn't move. So now it's at 0.6. So uh, I think we have to be careful with this. I'm gonna put this in my waist. It didn't move. I got 0.3, so I'm going to go with that. I want a 0.2. I'm going to get 0.3. It's only accurate to be within 0.1 anyway. And I'm going to clean off my spoon, the paper towel, two or three times so that it's... Oh, I shouldn't have done that because I'm just going to dissolve it in 100 milliliters of water. I need to clean it before I do my tartaric acid so I don't get any contamination. All right, now I just need to fill it up to 100 as close as possible. And now I need to dissolve it with my spoon. This my, I don't know how this is going to dissolve. Caffeine, this should be pretty water soluble, but this is my first time. I mean, it is water soluble because it's in coffee and we add water to the coffee uh, beans and out comes the caffeine. But this is taking a little while, actually. I still see lots of particles in there. Well, I'm going to dissolve this. Then I'm going to taste it so that I can taste what bitter tastes like. <laughs> and uh, this is in reference so, to when I'm looking for bitter tastes in coffee. All right. Happy tasting.